What does one look for in a spouse? Well, in our Torah portion this week, we see at least one approach as, as Abraham dispatches his servant to find a wife for, for the son, for Isaac. And of course, Rebecca is found in the condition upon which they know that she's the right one, that she's going to be a good spouse, is that when the servant comes and is thirsty and asks for water, the condition is that if she offers water for the camels as well, then that will be called chesed, that will be called kindness, and she'll be worthy of being, being a wife to, uh, to, to, to Isaac. And of course, that's the way that it plays out, that indeed she does offer water for the camels. It's a midrash, a midrashic uh, interpretation which says that there are other things that were happening there as well, and that, in fact, when she went to the well, instead of, as normally, people have to reach into the well to draw up the water, that the waters came up to her on their own, that the waters rose and, and, and really went into her, into her bucket without her having to, to exert all that much effort, that there was divine intervention there as well. And the question is, of course, that if a miracle happened for her, isn't that enough? Shouldn't that be enough of a sign? Why do we have to wait for her to, to feed the camels or to give water to the camels? And the answer is because relationships, whether they're marital relationships or whether they're in any other context, relationships are not built on, on the basis of, of miracles. We can't expect miracles from others. We can't expect others to do above and beyond their own abilities or their own nature or for God to intervene in, in some way. But rather, we expect kindness. That's at the foundation of every successful marriage. That's at the foundation of every successful friendship and every successful connection is the ability to do for the other, to think of the other, and to go above and beyond to perform acts of kindness for others. Stay healthy, stay well, and stay connected.